Hello, my name is Amir. I'm pleased to say that I'm a dental surgeon and I'm here to talk to you. A budding dentist, a general dental practitioner perhaps, a dental therapist, or anyone for that matter, about the childhood fevers, the exanthematous fevers, the so-called acute specific fevers. Things like mumps and measles and German measles and diphtheria and chicken pox and whooping cough. And I put them all in here because in each case some sort of oral manifestation or facial presentation will be seen by us or will be picked up by us. And therefore you should know something about them. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about their incubation period. The prodromal symptoms, those are the symptoms that come on before the actual illness. Whether or not there is a rash, and what you would see in the mouth column, which is the most important thing for us. And whether or not they are protected by vaccine, vaccination program. So let's go very slowly through them. Diphtheria, this is a very serious and a highly contagious bacterial disease, which I'm pleased to say that is almost completely disappeared because of the good work by the National Health Service. Vaccination program which started as early as 1940s. This is a very serious disease which can affect the myocardium and patients can have severe inflammation of the heart and go into serious heart failure and patients can even become temporarily paralyzed because of it. But the important thing for us is though, when you look inside the mouth, you will see membrane, tough, thick, adherent membrane stuck at the back of the tonsils. That membrane can involve the pharynx and cause respiratory obstruction. That membrane can even involve the larynx and even the anterior part of the nose where it can just present as a nasal discharge. Diphtheria is protected by vaccine, vaccination program, which was introduced by the NHS in 1986 the five-in-one vaccine which protects against whooping cough, diphtheria, polio, influenza, and of course, diphtheria itself. And the first jabs are given at two months, three months, and four months old, and so on, and then they have the one-in-four vaccine. 